Race two on the card is the first leg of the place accumulator, this being an eight race card at Hollywood Bets Gravel on the turf, the Boxing Day meeting. Maiden played for Phillies and Mayors over 1800 meters and Warren again, quite a tricky contest, quite a few with winning claims. They've priced up the betting four to one the field, three horses quoted joint favorites at four to one. Let me share that with you first. 11 Emerald Palace, four to one, 13 Shape of You, four to one, 14 simply complicated four to one. 11 Lady of Lutia, six to one. Number six under the mistletoe, who has to be the topical tip, is at eight to one for Maxine Dumont. Surprisingly, as far out as 12 to one, along with number one ever glow. Now we both like uh, number 14 simply complicated. She's coming along the right way. Your other choice is number six under the mistletoe, which I've included in the bipod. But my second choice is number 13, Shape of You. Just to remind you, although she's got a bad draw to overcome again, over 1,800 meters of gravel, you've got a chance to overcome the draw. Last time out, we chatted to Warren Kennedy when she made her second appearance on the race course on the 29th of November. He thought she was going to win that day, despite the draw. He really likes his daughter of Duke of Marmalade. So given Warren Kennedy's remarks of a few weeks ago, I think Shape of You will continue to improve. But who's your first choice? Graham, it's a competitive race, it really is. There's a, contrary to the first race where there wasn't too much form to work on, there's quite a lot of form to work on here and there's horses that are improving all around. Number one, Everglow. Uh, I look forward to seeing this filly run in the province. Going back to Simply Complicated, we saw Miss Texas the other day bring Cape Town form into the race, had the one run in the province, bang, into the winner's enclosure. And I think Simply Complicated is going to go the same way. However, it's not as easy as that. I do like the uh, topical tip under the mistletoe. She's improving with every start. She really ran an absolute cracker last time. She ran fourth, third, my apologies to Ideal Jet, when she was the fastest finishing on that occasion. Ideal Jet since come out and run a place, a very good second in Gauteng. She's lightly raced, progressive. I like her and I like her quite a bit. Maxine Demand, yes, generously priced at 12 to one. She's improving. I remember talking to Mark Dixon for one of the Understarters Orders interviews and he said that when she starts improving, which he was expecting, she would be a horse to follow and she's certainly going to win her maiden soon. Shape of you, undeniable chance. Progressive, lightly race, the draw obviously a concern. We could go on and on. Lady of Lutia, what you see is what you get with her and of course number 11, Emerald Palace, is knocking loudly at the door and that door is going to open soon. Yeah, so it's a very tricky race. The betting suggests that. They're betting four to one the field. Warren is in the camp of number six under the mistletoe. Number 14, Simply Complicated, as his top two choices. My top two choices are 13, Shape of You, and 14, Simply Complicated, with healthy respect for the fast improving number six under the mistletoe. And as Warren has mentioned, there are many others with chances in a difficult start to the place accumulator.